reviewed by me July 2008 highly recommended extremely portable purchased by TMPers all over the world say hello again to Leatherman Squirt P4 the original love this little tiny multi-tool I said as much in that review video July 2008 this is an update video to the squirt the P4 sadly has been retired if you can find one still an excellent what I call ultra light multi-tool since it weighs two ounces or less look in the upper right for my philosophy on all that multi-tool continuum is the name of the video this is an ultralight some people call it a keychain multi-tool reviewed it back then absolutely loved it dinged it for a couple reasons said I stopped carrying it for the lack of everybody knows this already I know because I've talked to TMPers they've told me scissors no scissors were in the original P4 it did come in an S4 version that didn't have pliers, it had scissors. It also came in an E4 version for electricians, and that version still still available. Here we go, say hello to the upgraded squirt, first up, ES4 in black scales right there. Good looking little ultralight. Here comes PS4, blue scales. Excellent. Let's see the difference in this nut and fancy tabletop review. It's going to go quick. And by the way, I'm going to be light on philosophy this time around. If you want more, go again to multi tool continuum. You'll see it there. I'll hit it a little bit. Go something like this wear it on your keychain, throw it in your fanny pack or whatever you have in your pocket. Have a multi tool with you on your person, I'm saying, all the time. Generally, I go with something more capable than the Squirt, now PS4, an ultralight multi-tool. Actually, as an ultralight multi-tool, it is extremely capable. But, of course, it's going to be limited because of physics. More often than not, riding along for the Nut and Fancy Adventures is going to be always a Juice S2. Here's one in gray. I have another one in orange. Highly thumped. I'm rotating in the gray to carry love this multi-tool previously reviewed like years ago highly recommended but occasionally that just won't work in your system and uh, it, it's just too big too heavy for whatever you want that's where the PS4 comes into play super light just two ounces same weight as its predecessor the P4 okay again don't expect to change the world with this multi-tool as far as capabilities go Materials, stainless steel, uh, let's just go into tool review. What do you say? Well, I'll do a little bit of comparing and contrasting, perhaps. PS4 against the P4. And that's where I'm going to go first. We'll crack open this little tiny multi-tool, and there's those awesome pliers again. Just like the P4s. Exactly. I think in that original review, I said I wished the jaws would close flat across the length. You can see there's a little air in there. The tips are very precise. That might be a little bit much to ask uh, for the engineers to accomplish. But I will say this, it unties knots as good as it ever has. For small bolts, it will work. For light duty plier tasks, it's excellent. Retrieving objects, look how thin those pliers are. I've used these a lot to do that, at least its predecessors of P4s. There's some light duty wire cutting, cap or light duty wire cutters there in the plier head. Don't go crazy with those. Just like I said, you can easily over torque the plier head if you're not careful. Upgrade to a bigger MT if you need more capabilities. All right, now the dedicated S4 version had the large spring loaded scissors. I never dug those because I don't want to give up a plier capability. Okay, so I went with the pliers in this version, the P4. Here again, don't get confused old version, new version. This was great, except it lacked, again, the scissors. We'll check this out. I'm going to close this up now. Probably should have started on this side. Drum roll or not. There you have it. Now integrated into the Squirt series, you have a cute little pair of scissors. And these scissors work pretty good, actually. Really good. They are small. They have to be small. Look at the carry package. 
of course they're going to be tiny, spring loaded, they're razor sharp, they do great detail work. They're on par with a good pair of Swiss Army knife scissors. Talking like classic variety, the classic Swiss Army blade. Love them. Great job, Leatherman, including the scissors. However, I will get to a downside. There's always a downside. There's always a compromise. Let's go on with the tool review. Notice all these are accessible from the exterior, just like the original squirt. There's your main blade. It hasn't changed. Still chisel ground, which I hate. Don't like chisel grinding on blades. I don't care what it's in, a multi-tool or a knife. Hate it. 420 high carbon, not a great steel, totally adequate for this type of roll for an ultralight multi-tool. Love the clip shape, it's good, good belly. <laughs> I'm talking about such a tiny little blade, but sometimes that's all I've had on my person is the blade that I had on my squirt and you're probably going to be the same way. Here come the drivers. This thing's so tiny, I gotta zoom in on it. There's your Phillips driver. Just like I said in the original review, not changed, works great, don't over torque it, not a lot of reach. Again, it's a tiny keychain multi tool. Here comes a flat blade driver and a cap lifter. Love it. Precisely ground. I find that it works great for what it is. Okay, again, if you want more capabilities, just like I said in Continuum, upgrade, baby. Ooh, love the file on the squirt. How many times will you find a file of this quality in an ultralight multi-tool? Rough side, fine side, it's even on the bottom so you can groove with it. Not very often. Previously reviewed in the Nut and Fancy project was this one, the Clutch by Gerber, right? Good little multi-tool, a little bit heavier, two and a half ounces. Look at its file. Cheesy. It's on the driver. Cheesy. It's like an afterthought. This one dominates it in capabilities. Remember, we're talking clash of the ultralight titans here, and there's a lot of other multi-tool options, but I'm just comparing and contrasting because it's interesting. Okay, clutch is still good, but it's kind of like the old S4 version in that it doesn't have pliers. I think I said that in a review. Instead, spring-loaded scissors. You get pretty much the best of most, not all, worlds in the P4. Okay, here's a downside promised you I was going to say it. You lose the punch. Oh, that sucks. That's one thing I really loved about the Squirt P4. This punch right here. Now it's gone. It has to be gone because there's no room to put it. The scissors are taking up that space. And, and you lose that mini driver too. This one right here. At least in the P4 version. I think all the versions. Kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. Nothing fancy. I mean, there's no pleasing you. <laughs> I love the PS4. Don't get me wrong. It is excellent. I, I do lament the loss of a punch. And it's still, we wait to have full punch integration into the Leatherman tool set. Yeah, I know the Mutt's out there and it has a carbon scraper that can function as a punch. Uh, but man, that's a big multi-tool. Heavy. Big and heavy. Let's put it on the juice. Let's put it on the squirt. Well, maybe. I do love those scissors, though. Here comes the electrician's version. Black scales. That's the ES4. Okay, the tool set on the exterior is identical, so I'm not going to spend any time with that. Here's your scissors right there. Yeah, that's right. And then when we open it up, wire strippers. Okay, and as you can see right there, we have a capability, 20 through 12 gauge of wire stripping. And then we have some precise polished jaws right there that are serrated. My electrician friend used this and said it worked great within the limitations of size. He said, hey, you know, I got to the point, you know, for just short little jobs, it's great, but if I'm doing much more, then I, I want to upgrade. Totally what you'd expect. There's your wire cutters right there. That's ES4. So, you know, pick your poison. You want that? Great. Uh, if you want larger spring-loaded scissors, you're not going to go to the squirt for it. You might go to... The style CS. There it is on the Net and Fancy camera. The style CS, newer multi tool. I've never shown this one on camera. Spring loaded scissors right there. Okay, uh, I hope you like that tool set with the style CS because you're going to get the spring loaded scissors, you're going to get a nail file, tweezers, and the blade, and that's it. Okay, you're not going to get any driving capability. And the style is pretty much all about that. Style, I like the, these form factors and multi-tools right here. 
they seems like we get more tool sets with them. Oh yeah, here's another color. They are available. I'm talking the, again the squirt in black, blue. This is the old one, and then red. Good looking, don't you think? Nice. This, by the way, is again that Kelty Trip Tease reflective cord I have fixed for lanyards on a lot of my stuff to include the multi tools. Nice little multi tool. Excellent. Affordable multi tools. Great gift items. Really, no reason why you can't have a multi tool on your person at all times. And yet, like I've said so many times, I just laugh at all my crew members and guys like you that I meet when I do an MT check on them, knife check, MT check, and say, hey dude, where's your multi-tool? And they're like, oh, here come the excuses. Well, you know, I just ran out of the house today. Come on, two ounces? Affordable? Man, you gotta have a multi-tool. Home run again by our friends at Leatherman. That is a nut and fancy tabletop review on the outstanding Squirt series, now with scissors. Excellent.